it's Conrad from Motion VFX. In this tutorial, we are going to bring some buildings to life. Ready? Let's get started. We start by placing the end tracker surface on our video by dragging it from M extension. Then we define the area we want to track. We make sure to mark the area as accurately as possible to ensure the effect looks as realistic as it can. Once the area is defined, we click Track. After the tracking is completed across the entire timeline, we make sure that the area we will be working on aligns with the surface of the building wall. After making some minor adjustments, we've defined the area we'll be working on. In the next step, we save a single frame from our video, which we'll use as an animated texture in the following step. We move to Photoshop and import our texture. We select the same part of the building that we tracked earlier and create a separate layer from it. Then we delete the layer underneath. We click Edit and go to the Perspective Warp tool, which will allow us to correct the perspective and create a flat texture. Using the Perspective Warp tool, we first recreate the perspective of the image. Then we define the shape we want to transform our texture into. In this case, we aim for a flat texture that will later be applied to the M tracker surface. To achieve the best possible result, I use the Rulers tool to ensure that my texture becomes a perfect rectangle. I select the part of the texture I need and create a new layer from it and remove the remaining parts of the texture. Then I rotate the entire image to make the most of the workspace without increasing the image resolution. Next, I duplicate the texture twice to create the longest possible version. This way, when animating it later in Final Cut Pro, I can be sure I won't run out of image area. Finally, I set the canvas size so that it matches the dimensions of the texture we just created. This will make it easier to position the texture inside the M tracker surface later on. Once the file is ready, I save everything and go back to Final Cut Pro, where I import our edited texture. After placing our texture on the timeline in Final Cut Pro, I create a compound clip from it, which I then assign as the texture in M tracker surface. I can now disable the visibility of the texture on the timeline. Next, inside M Tracker Surface, I enable the Image Distortion tool and adjust the texture so that it matches the perspective in the video footage. This process may take some time, but the result will be well worth the effort. The final step is animating the texture. We go into the compound clip and place two keyframes, one at the beginning of the layer and the other at the very end. We change the position values on those keyframes and make sure their interpolation is set to linear. And that's it! You've just created a viral moving building wall effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.